So today I'm going to be showing you a really cool tool that you can be using with your online tutoring students. And specifically, I'm going to be showing you today how to use it with uh, reading instruction because this is what I do. I'm an online reading tutor and I also love to be able to help other online tutors be able to start and grow their business. And my name is Joy Kaminsky and I have been teaching online since 2010. And the tool that we're going to be taking a look at today is called Flippity. And this is a completely free tool that you can utilize. What I love about this tool is that I can create an engaging and fun activity for kids to practice their words over and over again. But there's flashcards that you can create. Let's say that you're working on some vocabulary. There's quiz shows, there's um, typing tests, there's um, bingo, word search, crossword puzzles, you can work on spelling words. Um, and I'm going to be showing you today how to particularly create a memory game that can work on specific sight words that your child is, your student is working on. So all you have to do is go to a uh, is you're gonna go into Google Docs and I'm gonna be using uh, the spreadsheet tool. I'm gonna click on File, New, and I'm gonna click on Spreadsheet. And now inside of here, I'm gonna click on Add-ons. Now I already have add on I have Flippity already listed as an add-on. You're gonna to need to load it onto yours so that you have it as well. So on Add-ons, you're gonna click on Get Add-ons, And then you're just going to type Flippity and download it. Once you have that downloaded, you'll be click on add-ons and you'll get to go to Flippity. And you get to pick a template that you would like to utilize. So now it's opening up the particular uh, templates that it has and you can just scroll to be able to choose the one that you want. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a matching game here. So I'm going to click on use. It's going to build that template for me. And now all I have to do is I have to enter in the words. If I just want them to match like one word and another word, I can do it that way. So they get practice with reading those words. If I wanted to have the word and the definition, I could have them match the word and the definition together. So there's lots of different options of what I can choose to do. I'm going to choose uh, some of the toughest words that my students have to read, and that's words with O-U-G-H. They really struggle with that. So I'm going to put though, thought, through, ought, sought, uh, and let's do rough. Let's say I wanted just to be particularly working on those. I am going to exit out of all of, I'm going to delete all of that. I'm going to take this, I can just copy it because I just want them to match them together and I can paste it. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I publish to the web. So I'm going to click publish to the web, click publish. And now I have to go back on into the add-ons and go to flippity.net URL. And this is gonna be give me the URL that I can go to for this particular uh, matching game that I just created. So now I can click on the word and I can have this child read it. So I can say sought, sought, okay. Those two do not match. I can keep going through through. I got a match. Yay. So as the kids are clicking on it, I can have them read it. Again, there's lots of different types of options. And I'm sure as an educator, you guys will be able to find lots of great uses for Flippity. So enjoy. If you want more videos just like this, hit subscribe. Also, if you're interested in joining a free community on Facebook called the Ultimate Support Group for Online Tutors, we would love to be able to have you and support you as you are either starting or growing your online tutoring business.